I got a little surprise for you. So one of your mentors was Richard Quick, and Richard was one of my mentors as well. And I only remember this today, believe me. But I have your logbook from the year 2000. Oh, and my so gosh. I just opened it. My producer was actually like, what did she do today 21 years ago? So I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what you did today 21 years ago. Okay. <laughs> um, so basically it was the main, the main set was 450s on two minutes best average. And you held 27s, long course, 450s on two minutes, best average. It's pretty good. Not bad. You know is what? Is that your handwriting? Is? Yeah, that that's, uh, that is actually. Um, that's my writing, yeah. There he it is. He had us do um, a lot of fast stuff with a lot of recovery, uh, trying to hold best times and practices. And, yeah. um you know, it, it and it's funny because Mark Schubert did that too, but in a little bit of a different way. He'd give us a lot of rest in between. And Mark really wasn't a distance coach. He, I mean, wasn't a sprint coach. He was right. obviously a, a distance coach. So it was kind of new for him, but he really did a good job with that too. But yeah, Richard, we did like, there were like two or three days that were designated for fast swimming. Uh, not a lot of yardage, but definitely fast swimming. We had recovery days. We did drills every single workout. We got in and warmed up, did a, um, a either a, a kick set or would get right into the drills, always did drills every single practice. So yeah. he was very, um, very heavy on making sure that we were doing the stroke correct. Did you always record your workouts? Was that something you did? No, I, I only did it when I trained with Richard. Right. And it's weird because I never thought that I would be back swimming again. In fact, I remember I got out of my last race in Sydney and he came up to me and he said, Derry, he said, you know, it's so sad. I'm like, what? And he said, you haven't reached your potential yet. I'm like, what are you talking about? I said, I'm 33 years old. Of course I've reached my potential. He's and, and he saw it in me and I didn't know what he was talking about. I thought he was crazy for saying that because yeah. as you know, back then in 2000, like 33 was considered very old. So, um, you know, I'll never forget that, that he said that and that I was able to come back and, and train for another Olympics and in retrospect, you know, I, I can, I really thank Richard for his, his knowledge and, and what he believed in, in me. By the way, these aren't mine. Um, th these are yours. So if you want them back, I'll, I'll gladly send yeah, them. So how you. do you have them? I, I guess I gave them to Richard because I was like, yeah, hey, I'm done swimming. You can have them. <laughs> I guess so. So, you know, obviously Richard passed away very quickly. It was, it was sudden, yeah. you know, the whole um, episode with his um, brain tumor came on very quickly. And, um, and so, you know, I took over the coaching. I was his assistant coach at Auburn at the time, and I took over the coaching while he was ill. And then, uh, obviously, when he passed away very quickly, I, I said to June, like, look, I have a lot of swimming stuff in the office. What do you want me to do with it? She said, just keep it. And uh, so I ended up just packing in boxes. And as I was going through it, I remember looking and, and say, saying to myself, oh, wow, there's Dara Torres' whole Olympic campaign for 2000, you know, and all the workouts were there. And it was just super interesting to me. I was, I was flipping through the workouts I just remembered in the back of my mind that I had that that log, and then, and then I was talking to my producer today, and I said Dara's coming on, and and uh, and then it just clicked. I was like, oh, I've got the log books in the back. I might pull those down, <laughs> tell her what she did today. So nice. that's what you did 21 years ago. But um, there's some interesting stuff. Uh, I was disappointed though. You have you had you, you went into a second book. There's two books here, by the way, and uh, you went all the way up to about a month out of the of the Sydney Olympics, and then you stopped. So I didn't get your taper. I was I was bummed that I didn't get your taper in there. Oh yeah, I don't know. You know, and it's funny. Part of that from like January to whenever the month before is, um, I was training by myself, either with Richard or I went and trained with the Santa Clara men's team. You know, the postgraduates because. You know, Jen, Jenny had me kicked off the team, as did the other uh, Stanford swimmers. So um, whatever you see there, he had written up, you know, strictly for me or was written up for the guys at Santa Clara.